Hey, this is Rene. Welcome back to another video on this channel. And today's video will be a short one, but an important video if you're interested or if you're already programming for the MetaTrader 5 and you ask yourself, how do I use the magic number or how do I use multiple EAs and um, still have every EA manage only their own positions and the easiest way to make sure that there's no problem if you use multiple EAs is using the magic number or also if you use EAs and you, if you do manual trading also then you might want to use the magic number and in this video I want to explain the concept of the magic number in the meter trader 5 which is actually really easy so for example I will trade the Bitcoin US dollar today because it's a Sunday so I cannot trade currencies yeah. But um, here you can see if I open a position, um, just like any position, you can see in the toolbox of your MetaTrader 5 that this position is open. You will see all the uh, different columns here with the open price, the direction, the volume, etc., etc. And you will also see this magic number um, uh, yeah, column here. And if you do not see it, you can right click somewhere here in the toolbox and click or enable the magic number so you can see it here and this absolutely makes sense for today's tutorial and you can see this mm, uh, this entry here for the magic number for this trade is blank so there is no magic number which in the meter trader 5 means that this trade has magic number zero and this is always the case for all the uh, positions that are opened um, by hand so if you click and open a position using your mouse somewhere in the chart, this will use the magic number zero automatically. Same goes for expert advisors if you do not declare another magic number. And this is when, um, yeah, when, when we are able to, to change this. Or maybe, am I able to choose the magic number here? I don't think so. No, for manual trading, it should always be zero. So let's have a look at how to change this. So if you want to change this, um, and let's write a, a small sample program for this. So let's go here. I will just write, um, yeah, I will just use my test expert advisor here. And you can see if I go ahead and say I want to just open a position. So to open a position, I will use the Ctrade class, um, which is the most convenient way to open positions. So include this trade.mqh file. This is what I always do and teach in the tutorials here on YouTube also. And then we can create a object um, of this type C trade. Also, in, if you're interested in learning proper MQL5 programming, check out the link in the video description and you will find a complete course, which is absolutely suitable for beginners also. So now we have this trade object and we can use this to open a position. For example, let's open a buy position, one lots in the current chart symbol. And yeah, we don't need anything else. Actually, we only need the one lots. Okay, so what this program does is when it is activated, it will just open one position, one buy position with one lot. So let's run the program. We can find it here in the meter trader. I will drag and drop it, drop it onto the um, chart. And you can see we now have another position. It is this one with one lot. And you can see there's also no magic number. But yeah, if we hover over the line, we can see the second one was placed by an expert. The first one was placed manually. Still, there is no magic number because both of these have magic number zero. This is what I uh, try to explain here. If you want to change this, you can simply change the magic number for your um, for this trade object variable. Because if I say trade set expert magic number before I open the position, I can just choose any magic number and I would always recommend to make this a user input. Something like this. Uh, something like this. And then you can choose any number. And then here you will set the expert magic number for this trade object variable to the one that the user chose as an input here. So if I do it like this, and if I then open a trade again, wait, let me remove this first. You will see that there is a difference now. So I compile this, 
And now I'll run the test program again. And now you can see there is a magic number for this trade that I just opened. So this is really cool because whenever this program now opens a trade and the magic number is still set to 32,342, it will always, as you can see here, it will always have this magic number. So what we can do now is, so let me get this out so we don't open more trades. So what we can do now is, for example, we could say... Now that we want to count the profits of our expert advisor only. So here a typical way is to loop through the positions um, like using this simple for loop. And again, I teach this in other tutorials on the YouTube channel or in the complete course if you're interested. This video should be just about the magic number. So here I could go ahead and say um, position ticket. I get the position at index i, so I loop through all the positions and now I can check or we can print out the um, the position, position number, wait, wait, number, position ticket and then we can say something like has magic uh, number and then here we will have the position magic number and of course we will have to get the position magic number first so let's say integer position magic position get ticket uh, sorry position get get integer and then we can use position magic like this and yeah this will give us the position magic number so we can print it and then we can check if this position magic number of the currently selected position is equal to the magic number from the inputs then we know that this um, expert advisor opened this position and then we could for example add up the, the profits so we can say profits are zero and here if we find the position then we will just get um, the position profit um, equal to position get double position profit and let's also get the position swap position get double position swap and I think um, we cannot get the commission but get double position yeah no we cannot get the commission here we would have to get it from the deals but yeah for this tutorial it's fine enough like this so we will just um, add these position profits and position swap to the profits variable and then we can say print um, total total profit is and then we have the profits here profits like this so you can see now we should only add up the profits of this expert advisor. So if we run the program again, I will show you what happens. So here we can see we have one, two, three, four open positions and the profit should be something like uh, minus 50. So we can see in the expert journal, yes, it is true. So you can see we are looping through the trades. We find one, two, three, four trades with the magic number um, 32,000 whatever. And we find two trades that have the magic number zero. These two will not um, trigger this operation because we just do not get into the body of this if statement. So we only add up the profits of the positions that have this specific magic number and for example if I want to go ahead and use the program also in another chart um, let's say um, we wait I don't want to open too many positions but if I now use the same EA in another chart and it could be the same um, the same symbol here it will still work of course so if i change the inputs here and i have magic number 22 now in this chart we will also open we will always open with the magic number 22 and you can see now it only adds up the profits of um or i mean both of these programs trigger the 
the, the print statement, but um, you can see that they add up the profits differently. So maybe the total profit we can say for magic number and then we can print the magic number here. Mm, magic number, something like this. So you can see now we add up the profits for magic number 32,000 whatever and the other EA is adding up the profits for 22. And yeah, this is a way to use the same expert advisor or different expert advisors in multiple charts and still have the chance to um, yeah, make them manage their own trades separately. So you can always use this concept of the magic number. This of course also works if you want to modify the trades of your expert advisor. You can also use this uh, loop to just get the positions of your own uh, expert advisor or you could close all the positions of your expert advisor using the magic number. So this is a universal concept that is implemented in the MetaTrader 5 and that you can make use of to yeah just always trade the trades of your own expert advisor or make your expert advisor trade its own trades. So the most important parts are I would always make it a user input so the user is able to completely decide what magic number he wants to use for which expert advisor. Um, some programmers make a or generate a random unique uh, magic number in every expert advisor. I'm not a big fan of this. I think it's better to give the user the uh, option to choose a number. Then, um, yeah, don't forget to set the expert magic number for the um, C trade object that then opens the trades. So you do not have to do this in the on init, of course, but if you do it in the on init for a global um, object, then it will. Yeah, the, this, this object will have the magic number for the whole runtime of your expert advisor. You could also do it in a sub um, function or in a smaller function where you just open the position. But if you then create the C trade um, object variable in this function, then you should not forget to set the expert magic number in this function also with every function call. And then, yeah. If you open a position after setting the expert magic number for the object variable, then all the positions will automatically have this magic number that you set before. And then you can use, whenever you want, you can use a, a loop or you can just check the magic number of positions in your account to compare it to the magic number that the user chose. And then you can add up the profits, you can close the positions, you can modify them, whatever you want. And yeah, I hope I was able to explain the concept of the magic number for MetaTrader programming. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Um, yeah, make a comment on YouTube. Do not write me an email because on YouTube it's better for me to, to answer so everyone will see it. Okay, this is it. Thanks for watching. Have a great time and good trades. Bye-bye.